Hey, it's Jim from the Woodworking Corner. I recently purchased this DeWalt dust separator to add to my dust collection system here in the shop. I wanted to share a review with you on my thoughts on this product. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting any sort of commission off of my review on this product. Just wanted to share you my thoughts on it and uh, let's get to it. I would sweep up more with a broom and dustpan than I would using the shop bag just to save on bags. Over time, I'm thinking to myself, I'm just kicking around dust by, by sweeping. You're not getting everything up off the ground. So I have been using my shop back more often and been going through more bags. So what I've opted to do is get um, a cyclone or a dust separator with it. I know people make DIY cyclones and stuff, but I'm, honestly, it wasn't something I wanted to go through. It seemed like more work than it was worth. Um, and I know people have been talking about this one online, uh, the Oneida Air System Dust. Um, so I almost bought that one because of the reviews it was getting online. But then when I saw the the Walt dust separator, I was thinking, huh, I already have the Walt shop, uh, the Walt shop back, so might as well go with the same brand. This way, at least I know the hoses and all should work together. I will have to admit when. This arrived in the mail. I was a little surprised by the size compared to the shop bag. I was expecting it to be relatively the same size. That's what it looked like in the, the pictures on Amazon, at least. Um, so I'm a little, little afraid to see what this is going to be about. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. Place dust separator tank into the recess on lid, ensuring that the ribs are aligned with the slots. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. With lid in an upside down position, insert provided screws. thing I will say so far compared to one of the other ones I saw online is that the other ones you had to insert the gasket during the installation this one the gasket was already installed which was one step you don't have to do which I don't understand why they don't just do that from the, from the get-go Recommendation, don't use a, a drill when you're doing this. The threads on the inside are plastic, which I would imagine would strip pretty easily if you try to use a drill and cross thread them. Okay, and the only other thing is the casters. Okay. So now obviously this goes on here. And this, this is the inlet side. So this is what gets connected to your tool that you're using at the time. And this part goes to the shop back. Let's figure that one out. I will admit, 
it's been a while since I've opened this up, so I don't know how dusty it is going to be on the inside. <laughs> Okay, at first line, at least a filter. Filter is not too bad. I mean, it's a little, little dirty, but not bad. The filter bag itself. Huh, okay, it's not even a quarter full. So that's a good sign. So actually, we don't have to do anything with this now. Now what we need to do is get this hose connected to this okay no <laughs> that does not work that needs to stay with the tool all right all right we need that to connect all right what we need to do This has to connect to this snake somehow. So the hose from the shop back connects to the top of this. And everything right here is all I need. Let's give it a test ride. All right, I'm gonna test it out with a two by four. That wasn't a huge amount of, of dust that we made, but let's see what we got. Okay, that's not too bad. That's all stuff that's not going inside the dust bag. I know in the beginning I was a little worried about its size, but for a little guy, I think he's gonna pack a powerful punch and it'll definitely help in terms of my dust collection here. And I wanted to do a video on my personal video on it. Like I said, this was not a sponsored video, but I wanted to give my fair assessment of how this product works. And I think for the most part, it, it does what it's supposed to do. As far as this hose, um, I really don't need it in my current configuration. Um, my, the hose to the, the shop back already plugs into this and uh, my other hose that goes to my biter station already fits in. A link for this will be in the description below. I did get it on Amazon. And if uh, if you do purchase through the link, you do get a small commission that you do not pay for. It's free and it helps, uh, helps me out while I'm growing this channel. Uh, thank you again. And uh, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, ring the notification bell, and leave me a comment if you're interested. Thank you. Have a good day.